So me and Jackson got a call back from last week's audition. And guess who they asked us to bring? <laughs> this guy. He not even paying attention. Look at me, I got a loose. I got a loose too, baby. <laughs> well, were you ready? You ready for your first commercial audition? Yeah, you ready. Yeah, buddy. Book them, Ellis. I got a two See your girl in here working out. This is important. Y'all know I'm big into fitness as I train mental people through their fitness journeys. And his training don't stop at the gym because he brings this shit home to me. <laughs> I it's not like you listen, though. I do listen to you. Yo, I've been telling her the certain exercise to do to help with her pelvic issues, her glutes, her core. She don't do it. I she do don't do, do it. it. I don't have to let you know every single time I do it, but I be doing it. When do you do it? What do you mean when I do when, it? When, when do you do it? I'm home all day with the baby. I do it in between naps and stuff. I got to stretch. Who my, believes that? Who believes my that? My pelvis feels awful, so it does help me. But my midwife told me to watch this video. It's called Spinning Babies Bong. or something like that. Bong, go ahead. So what did, what did it tell you to do? What did it tell you to do? First of all, it's a two-hour long video uh -huh. that I didn't get through the whole thing yet but the first what half was the hour, exercise they told you to the do the first half hour get they to were it. doing lunch go ahead go ahead get to it stop rushing why are you so hostile I'm not hostile so yeah the first um couple exercises were like lunges and squats things that I've been doing already yes but this is my first time having a midwife so Yo, she told me to watch is, it I'm this gonna watch is it. what wives do to husbands all the time right oh boy I could I could say to her Yo, Kadeen, you know, the sky is blue. She would not believe me. <laughs> Let Dr. True. Oz say the sky is blue outside. She gonna run to me right after I say it. DeVal, guess what, guess what? Check this out what Dr. Oz said. Sky is blue. You're such a liar. You do it all the time. So anyway, y'all know that I've worked out with Cairo through that whole pregnancy. And right now, I haven't been in the gym as much because I've just been so exhausted at home with, with uh, with mm -hmm. um, Cairo during the day. So I do what I can at home. Then I got me a spin bike. So I haven't been riding though because I can't sit on it. Because if I was to sit, my whole pelvis would be like it's going to explode. So, so then don't suggested... sit on it. I'm not sitting that on it. That was too easy. I'm not sitting on nothing nowadays. Yeah, so, yeah ain't that the truth? That's the truth too. So, uh, <laughs> so I'd rather just stand up and kind of ride like this. But my biggest thing is just to kind of get my heart rate going and keeping that up. And that is the biggest thing. Like Get the blood flowing. Understand so. that when at this point in the pregnancy, when she's working out, she's not working out for core strengthening or toning or I wish. To, for fitness or to be in shape. She's really just working out for circulation. Just to you move, want to keep yeah. the blood flowing all in these areas, the areas I like so much. Yep. In the pelvic areas. And I have my little band on, homie. Yeah, you got the band on. So I have on the band to give you some training. little extra support. That's the pregnant waist training. That's what they call it. <laughs> he keeps telling me it's a waist training. I'm like, it's not training anything right now. <laughs> it's just keeping all the pressure up off of my uh, my pelvic bone because that's yeah. where it's been hurting the most. But spinning is real good because it's non weight bearing. Yeah. It's good on the joints. Right now, all her ligaments and tendons are all stretching because they're trying to prepare for that moment when baby E3 comes through yep. so right now the best thing for us is, is cycling and spinning so yeah so 
What I do now is I don't say anything to her. I just send an email to the midwife. Let the midwife tell us. Then she get it done. <laughs> Shut up. Let's try it again. The whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Ready? Start from the beginning. Okay. Uh, what's your name again? Uh, Jackson. I'm from Sixth High School. Jackson had a long day. Yeah, you know you're hard on him, right? Yes. Why are you saying it like that? No, nah, I'm just saying you saying like I don't know. Like I'm I know I'm hard on him. I do it purposefully. I mean I know you have a method to your madness, but I just don't want him to be turned off. Here by... she go. Here she go, mommy. Turned off by what? What am I supposed to do? Turned off by what? I'm just saying I don't want him to be turned off by the whole process and it not be fun for he, him. Well he know? he has he's gonna have so. to make a decision at some point in life. And the bottom line is is that the process is the process. Now, for me, the whole acting thing is just a skill. Like, it's just, it's just something that he has to learn. Like, you, you understand the process of acting. You don't just go up there and recite lines. You have to respect the craft. You don't understand repetition, understand this. You have to learn lines and learn the meaning behind the lines and color the lines and learn through the, the, the process of auditioning. And that's really what it is. Exactly. You see how, you see how you're getting it? That's what you got to do. You have to live in the, the scene. You don't just say lines. Do actors just say lines? They live. They live in the scene, right? They, they don't. They just. They just don't say their own line. They need to. They need to respond what, what the. Exactly. They need to respond, the right? Actor. Exactly. So what I say, how it makes you feel, right? Like if it was a sport or playing an instrument, you just learn the skill of it so that you can practice it so you can be great at it. Now that doesn't mean I want him to be an actor. Mm -hmm. I just want him to get used to practicing something and going through the process and respecting it. So that when he gets to the point where he chooses to do something, he understands that there's a process in whatever he chooses. You see what I'm saying? You gotta add lines. You just gotta just say it the way it is here, but you gotta say how it makes you feel, mm -hmm. right? Like if I say no or yes. All right. Perfect. That was good because now you're living. You're living in the scene. You get it? Yeah. And good since job. you're living in the scene, you're showing the director and the casting director that you know what's going on. And when you show them that you know what's going on, they know you know how to act. I do agree that, you know, him doing things like auditions just gives him an, a platform to just be in front of people, be in front of strangers. Exactly. Look in the eye. Like, a lot of kids nowadays have no social no skills. No social skills. And, and not for None. nothing, Jackson no. is very shy. Like, people see him on, on YouTube or they see him on Instagram and they feel like he's this big personality. He is when he's with us, like right. most kids are. Right, but when parents. he gets around people or adults, he, he comes very introverted and he doesn't speak up. Mm -hmm. And... Living in America, 2017, man, he can't be a type of person that gets walked on. Why are you nervous? I'm talking, I'm talking in front of people. You do know this why this is why I want you to do this, right? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I don't care whether you get it or not. I really don't. All I want you to do is practice. Learn how to go into the room, command the room, smile, look people in the eye. That's all I want you to practice. Whether you book it or not, does not matter to you. You understand that, right? You've already studied, so you know what you're gonna do. But sometimes in life, man, you're just gonna be put in uncomfortable situations. Look at me. You're gonna be put in uncomfortable situations, and you gotta learn how to fight through it. I know you're only six, but the, the sooner you learn, the easier it is. All right? You're nervous, right? It's all right, bro, look at me, look at me. It's all right, man, it's all right, look. I was nervous before every game. I was nervous before every game. Look at me. Look at me, bro. Hey, I was nervous before every game. Every football game I ever played in, any basketball game, I was always nervous because it mattered to me. But I learned how to fight through it. I learned how to fight through it, and I learned that those nerves, that just helps you, man. That energy, that you can use that. But you're gonna be fine. You're supposed to be nervous at six. Who ain't nervous at six years old? Everybody nervous at six. Just know that it doesn't matter to me whether you get it or not. Like, we live in a capitalist country where you have to be able to compete and thrive in order to be successful. But people not going to give you passes. I'm like, oh, he's cute, he's Jackson, and blah, blah. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Yeah. You got you to gotta thrive, and you got to compete, and you have to do it when you have to do it. Not when you're ready. You have to do it when, they're, when they need it. Is that where you want to go? Yeah. Going, if you want to go to Toys R Us, we go to Toys R Us. What happens if I don't get it? We'll still go? 
If you what? If I don't get it, then we will still go. Listen, look at me. Whether you get it or you don't get it, we go into <laughs> Toys R Us. Because you getting it don't matter to me. It's the process. You got to learn the process of studying. That's all this is. It's to teach you discipline, to teach you work ethic, teach you how to deal with uncomfortable situations. That's all this is about. I don't care whether you get it or not. That's extra. If you book it, that's a plus. That's a plus if you book it. The fact that you're even going through the process and you're toughing up and going through it, I'm happy about that. That's why we go into Toys R Us afterwards. You good? We go into Toys R Us, baby. Trust the process, man. Love it. Enjoy it, man. And have fun doing it, man. I don't, I don't give a shit I'm if a he gets it. I'm a competitor back in my day, too. <laughs> exactly. Your mother made you do pageants. <laughs> No, she didn't make me do them. I actually wanted to do them. Yeah? Yeah, I actually went to her and was like, Mom, I want to do it. Oh, that's what's she up. let me do it, yeah. But it was amazing because I learned so much. I mean, I was able to get up in front of an audience and speak at a young age. See? You, know. you see? Interview skills are very important. And how did that help you? Oh, it helped me, like, amazing. Other than bagging me <laughs> with you got skills in doing that. True. But it did help you in how many other ways? No, and lots of it when it came to my career, jobs. You see what I'm speaking saying? Speaking to people in general. Being able to command an audience. Um, but your mom like did that. make you play piano. And you didn't want to play she piano, did. right? I See? hated the piano. And why'd she make you do it? Discipline. Once I Discipline. started something, I had to finish it. Start it and finish it. Learn the skill. Understand the process of This guy gets his first feature film audition and gets his tooth knocked out on the same day. Same day. What were you doing? Playing basketball. Did you win? I lost. <sighs> So you lost and you lost your tooth? Yeah. Oh, it was a tie actually, two to two. It was a tie? Two to two. I mean, it's not technically a loss, but you ain't win neither. But it was a tie though. Yeah, but you yeah. lost your tooth, so you lost. Look at that tooth, look at that tooth. Jackson just asked to play the piano. He did? Well then maybe, but you see the funny thing is maybe he'll take the process of learning how to act and go through auditions and apply it to piano because he wants to do it True. and he can be a great pianist you know yeah. what i'm saying he mm -hmm. may apply it to football and be a great quarterback or basketball be a great point guard right. or, or design apps and and, and and take that principle of of going through all the details and be a great app designer or a great ceo mm -hmm. or a great bank manager like to me i don't care what he becomes i just want him to respect the craft of whatever he does and work towards being great at it. Like, shortcuts. Everybody wants shortcuts nowadays in life. There's no shortcuts. None. My son ain't doing no shortcuts. And so. if it's a shortcut, it's probably not worth it. So, so that, that's why you got to go through this process. So I'm tough on him. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. Get used to it. Thank <laughs> mm -hmm. you. He's good. What's up? How'd it go? Good. You did good? Yeah. yeah did they smile? Yeah. It was just her in there? Yeah. Did she laugh? At your tooth? Yeah. <laughs> so proud of this guy. How'd you do, man? Uh, good. How did you feel in there? Were you nervous? Uh, a little nervous, but I just got in there. It was fun. You got in there, it was fun? Yep. Give me some, man. Now, where we going? Uh, Toys R Us. And you damn right, we going to Toys R Us. I felt confident and I felt happy and anxious. <laughs> happy and anxious? That's good, man. You did a good job, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, stop momming. Let me do my thing. It's all right. well done with love. Let me do my thing. Same thing goes for Roly and this baby. That's just what it is. Oh, because watch. I, I guarantee you, if we have a girl next, watch her. Watch her. <laughs> watch her. She's going to be on top of her. And then I, I, I ain't going to be able to say nothing. True. Exactly. True. So let me do my thing, my boys. <laughs> They're going to be I all right. I get it. Come on, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Quick. You know, he knew what he wanted. He said he wanted one toy. What? Right in and out, huh? What's up, Vlog? Why are you still up? I'm going to school now. Going to school? I'm going to bed. Yeah, he's going to bed. All right. You know, I love you, right? Yes. You did good today? Yep. You know, I'm proud of you, right? Yep. Why am I proud of you? Because I was, I was scared, but I still went through it. Exactly. You worked through your fear. Yes. That's how you become a man, bro. Yes. I'm five, son. I love you, right? Thank you. Go to bed. You get in trouble.